uh, doing a bit of a tutorial on the menu system. Then I'll give away three more keys and then one after every game until I have no more keys. So that was Sam Sandwich. There we go. Sam Sandwich. Congratulations, buddy. I just sent it to your Twitch inbox. Yeah, no problem. No problem. You you earned it. Remember that. You earned it. Okay, cool. Now, now we're going to go ahead and review this. Let me go back to this scene right here. Now, I do apologize. Some of my elements are getting in the way, but I'm going to turn them off, and we're going to go over this stuff. So, first of all, let's start in the upper left-hand corner. Let me turn off some... Not that. Let's turn off. Where is it? I got it in here somewhere. There we go. And try on and glyph. There we go. Okay, so if you look in the upper left-hand corner... Kuwait, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate that. Uh, high five to you. Can I slide into your Twitch inbox? Fleming Fury, you are always welcome in my Twitch inbox. All right, so if you look up here, if you click on this button right here, uh, let's say you click on any other button, you can return back to the main menu here. This is where you're going to go ahead and report a bug. Uh, I'm going to turn off my camera and stuff for right now, too. That way I could just show you everything. What's this? Oh, not that. I want that on. There we go. We'll turn. We'll, we'll keep the disclaimer on for right now. Screen. We'll turn you off. Camera. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to turn all my stuff off so that you guys can see this beautiful screen. I'll keep commands on. All right, so. Tell you stop trying to slide into people. Uh, do I have the disguise? D uh, disguise as Fleming. Oh, I love this command. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, anyway, back to this right here. Uh, where do you redeem this? Uh, you have to go to atlasreactorgame.com. Atlasreactorgame.com. Go ahead and just... Google Atlas Reactor. Actually, I think if you, <laughs> I think if you have Glyph, you need the Glyph um, uh, uh, thing in order to uh, the Glyph client. Thank you. There's the word. Thank you to myself. The Glyph client in order to uh, unlock it. So make sure you get you go to Tryon Worlds uh, and get the Glyph uh, client. Jeez, I can't speak. You know what I need? I need water. Give me one second. I'm gone. Post dank memes. All right, so again, uh, this is the button that gets you back to here. This is very important. If you check out uh, what we've got going on down here, first of all, this is your friends list. As you can tell, I'm, I'm chock full of friends right now. Look at this, chock full of friends. These are all my buddies. These are all my offline buddies, right? So you, you can get to them. You can check offline, online, busy away, etc. Well, I'm sorry, you can mark yourself as that. I don't know if you guys noticed, but... Um, yeah, Brevity Man, they did, they did. I like a lot of their games. Don't be harsh. I like them games. They're fun. I've been playing a lot of Defiance, actually, lately. It's, it's a really good, uh, really fun shooter MMO. Anyway, so the Blue Muzzy, and then I got hashtag Lee. What? That's right. Okay, so that's where you, that's where you do that. If you right-click on any of these, you can do send message, invite to group, uh, invite to game, view profile, invite to group chat, block player, remove friend, etc. And if you click here, you can... Uh, you can um, invite them immediately, right? This is just a quick invite button right here. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. By the way, you can type in their glyph tag, which means if you're gonna type in their glyph tag, it's very important that you type in their, their glyph tag name and without a space, hashtag and the number as well. You need their number. Very, 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 very important. What's up, Brass Dwarf? Welcome to the stream. All right, so the next thing, you got some you got some cool stuff going on down here. The GG boost, as you can see, I've got eight left. Use a GG boost during a match to earn 50% more ISO and experience, as well as give a 25% bonus to all other players. The more players that use GG boost, the bigger it is for everyone. I've had like a 200% bonus, and it was awesome. My number is 1337, hashtag 1337. The blue muzzy slash uh, hashtag 1337. All right, the patron bonus is under development. It's inactive right now. Nobody can get that right now, but uh, soon. And then you've got play with friends bonus, inactive. Uh, so when you are playing with a friend, you automatically get a small bonus. Play with a friend to earn a 50% more experience. They must be on your friends list. So, uh, and I, it says I am not grouped with a friend right now. This would light up if, if I were. That is an awesome way to get quick experience for your character, it's very nice. Dropping by a bunch of streams today. So far, so good. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> All right, so right here, if I right-click on this, it will bring up my friends list to invite people. This is your three friend slots. Uh, and then if you just left-click on it, it doesn't do it. Oh, it does too. It pops that up too. So any click. Oh, look at this. See, this is what happens when you have a friend request. Let's click on this, and let's do that. Oh, yeah. Give him, give him that check mark. Joviex, thanks for the ad, buddy. All right, then we see here there are two types of currency. There's ISO and there are credits. 
Credits right here are visit the store to purchase more credits. You can't this time, but you do have a bunch of credits that you can unlock things with, which is really cool. Uh, as you can see, I've got $17.50. Uh, we'll go over pricing and stuff like that in a bit. Then if you go over here, you have the ISO. Uh, this is earned by completing matches and using GG boosts to increase it. Uh, this is how you unlock, this is basically your earned income and this is your paid income, or paid currency rather. Then you can see down here, we've got the, uh, first of all, I got the OG tag. That's right, OG. What's up, Artificial Doom? I know, buddy, I know, but that's okay. There's more good games on the horizon. All right, and then as you can see here, I got to pick this. We'll go over this in a second. My gamer tag here, and then what level I am as a, as a player. So there is a player career here. If you click on this, this opens up. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. All right, I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna run through all of this and then I'll give away three more keys and then we'll actually get to playing a game. But I wanna make sure that I teach everybody exactly what you're getting into here. All right, so most played this season. As you can see, I've played 41 games with Gray, three games with Lockwood and one game with Gremolitions. I have 46 games total played. So some of them won't show up here. Wait, wait a second. No, these are, I think I have one game played as Helio and it's not showing up. As you can see, my last three matches are all sorts of win, win, win. That's right. Um, which we'll, we'll talk about that in a second too. Re uh, recent rewards, that's coming soon. That'll probably tell you like all the things that you've unlocked recently. So you can be like, oh, I forgot I unlocked that. I want to go check that out. What's up, CB Tales? Welcome back, man. Sorry if I missed you, come in earlier. Uh, then you can see that the character that you click on, oops, let's go back, let's go back to overview. Um, this, this, the role breakdown shows you that there are three different types of roles that you can play with. Uh, so if you type in roles in chat, you can see the three different roles. Roles are firepower are just all about that damage. As you can see, I've been playing a lot of aggressive firepower. Then you got that front line. They're like tanky, supporty, damagey, bruisery kind of characters. They, they can absorb a lot of damage uh, and they can do some really cool utility stuff. And then you've got the support. Sometimes they're tankyish. Sometimes they're um, they're kind of damagey. Sometimes they're just purely support. Um, so support's a really versatile class, and as you can see, I've only played one game with them. Uh, I, I will be playing more support, but I really want to get great at level 10 so badly. So if you click on any of these, you can actually go straight to the freelancer page, but we're gonna go to that in a second. So if I do click on freelancers, it'll show you all the freelancers. This little symbol right here, oh, oh geez. Nope, nope, sorry Moby, I didn't want to do that quite yet. I'm gonna have to boot him. That's all right, this shows me a perfect way to boot somebody Get the hell out of my party. If you just right click on them, you can kick them from the group. You can promote them to leader. You can add them to friends. You can send them a message. You can also leave the group. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the group and I hope Moby understands. Moby, I love you. All right, so we're gonna go back to the store. Uh, sorry, back to play. Wait, where were we? Uh, click on the banner, here we go. So we're gonna go to uh, freelancers. This is where you check out where all of the, uh, the freelancers are. They're not characters, they're freelancers in this case. Uh, and you can see that this symbol right here means they're free to play right now. That's what this is, this is the free rotation. Sorry Moby, I love you, I love you. <laughs> I didn't mean to kick you. Uh, how is the matchmaking at this point? Is there a skill level consideration? There is a skill level consideration, but since it's so small, it's gonna be hard. Uh, skill level is, you'll, you'll see how it works. Honestly, um, I think it's more important to have a skill level separation for, um, for a, a, an actual MOBA because in an actual MOBA there's mechanical skill. In this game it actually removes mechanical skill and makes it all about mental skill and meta play. So you're playing opponents, you're playing countdowns, your uh, cooldowns, you're playing positioning. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot more about the strategic. Uh, aspect than it is about the quick twitch aspect. So um, because of that, I think that the separation of skill level isn't as important, but again, this is my thought, not Tryon's thought. I don't know exactly how they feel about this, but as you see above there, it's, oh, you can't actually see I'm pointing, but my thoughts are my own. They do not represent Tryon. So that's my view on separation of skill level at this point. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, you're a low skill level. If you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. That's kind of how this game is working at this point. Uh, okay. Oh, we got another friend request. Let's go ahead and accept that. Mars! Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the friend request. Okay, so, um, as you can see, I have, I have, I own Lockwood and I own Gray at this point. So these two, I'm actually capable of just playing with right now. Um, and then obviously anyone in the free rotation. And you can see their level that you've actually got them to and the, the role that they play. So I've got two firepower characters because, you know, I like that firepower. Um... Yeah, I've got that leet. Leet for the OG crew. Okay, anyway, so you can see level 10 and the 
I, there's a reward for leveling up. I'm gonna get a new emblem, which we'll go over in a second. Uh, let's see. Then we're gonna go to let's click on let's click on matches just to go through all of these real quick. You can see that I've got a lot of wins. I got a lot of wins. I love me some wins. But you can also see the mode that you're playing in and the map that you're playing on. Currently, there are only two two maps: Flyaway Freighter and Cloud Piercer Spire. Um, and you can see how long ago you played them. You can not click on them to do anything. It doesn't do anything yet. Maybe it will in the future. That would be awesome. Um, okay, sorry. And then we're going to go to the uh, the stats page right now just to do it. Oh, I've got an ELO of 1800. Woo! That's right. Uh, and I didn't know that it showed that. That was a surprise to me, guys. And then your uh, it's coming soon, so you'll get more stats and stuff like that later. So it will be visible ELO after 1600. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go to the banner. Uh, this is where you can check out your... This is your banner right here. So you can have emblems, titles and backgrounds or emblems backgrounds and titles so titles there are all of these to unlock and i'm sure there'll be more added later um just so you know it's a little weird if you scroll your mouse it cycles through them so fast that you just do one at a time or you can come over here you can click directly on it which will give you a sound or you can click on the arrow which won't give you a sound i don't know if they care about that but anyway you can choose none and you can see it disappeared and i can't click on any of these locked ones i wish you could filter by which ones have been completed and which ones haven't you can see your your uh your um, progress on all these as well. So one out of 10 for pump levels. Let's see. And then your freelancer level right here, 10 out of 30. Once I get to 30, I can have the title freelancer where I'm actually a freelancer, which would be awesome. Nuclear nutcase. I love that. That's awesome. This is kind of like the one word or, or the quick phrase example of who they are as a person. So if we go down here to gray, I'm almost master of the hunt. But for now, the only one I'm going to use is OG, original Gangsta. I don't know what the G stands for, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it means in real life, but I think they just had that as a stand-in, and then they just left it, uh, which was just funny to me, so I, I like it. Uh, okay, should be OF, Original Freelancer. Anyway, so uh, backgrounds. As you can see, I've got a ton of these things unlocked. Uh, some of them, they're a little buggy. I've got a couple unlocked that I shouldn't have unlocked, I think. Like this level 19, even though I'm level 10. Uh, but as you can see, you can go through. And this kind of is okay, because I can show you uh, how it changes things. They're kind of fun. I'm sure there'll be cooler ones in the future. Also, this is ELO 1600, ELO 1750, ELO 2000, 2500, etc. Uh, and then also over here, Aurora. Uh, I've unlocked hers by accident because it's a it's a bug. Gremolitions, I got to level two. I unlocked his. As you can see, they're a bit cooler. I really like these. I've been rocking the gray. Uh, um, that's the character's name because it's really fun. I really like it. Um, yeah, anyway, so you can get through all these. And then you can do the Helio ones, etc., etc. Right, so then you can go to emblems. Now, there are a couple things on here I want to show you first. Um, there are some of these ELO ones right here that are only available for Alpha. Who's excited about that? They're only available for Alpha. So this right here means that you've reached ELO 1600. This one here, 1750, 2000, 2500. So I've been rocking the 1751. And as we can see in the stats page, I'm at 1800. So I'm quite a ways away from this ELO. Uh, as you can see, also, they're all made out of A's, which is kind of awesome. So you're only going to get these if you play in this Alpha. And then it'll be locked forever. But you get all these. You get tons of different unlocks. Uh, I, I unlocked, uh, where is it, Gray's uh, Hawk drone, which I really like. I'm actually going to go ahead and rock this. I've been going for this one right here because this one's even cooler. It's a side profile of her head. So it seems to be like weapon, then character. Weapon, then character. Uh, but in, in, yeah, so like weapon for Nyx, character for Nyx, which is kind of cool. Pup's teeth weapon and then Pup's icon, which is cool. And I'm sure they'll, they'll do way more. Must have a limited edition loot. That's right. Don't worry. I'll be giving three more out after I'm done with the whole menu system. The entire menu system. Okay, so then let's go ahead and click on... Uh, let's go back to freelancers. Click on gray because this is the one I have the most of. You can see that uh, my level is seven. I'm on my way to eight. I'm a little over halfway. I've played 41 games. I've won 30. I've got 134 takedowns. Oh, yeah. That means assists and or kills. About is use the hawk drone to hunt and trap enemies. So if you type in gray here, you can actually see that exactly. Uh, plus their difficulty level, she's a medium. You can see their health, damage, survival, and difficulty. Um, and so that's about it with her there. Then we go over to the skins one. We're going to click on the original skin. You can rotate them around by clicking and dragging. Unfortunately, uh, oh, okay, they did fix it. Before, I couldn't click and drag off of her. Uh, but as long as you're clicking within this cylinder, essentially, you can you can drag her around. It's got some cool physics, so you can check out their model and stuff. Teach you Spanish? What's up, single player? Uh, uh, no. 
Uh, no entiendo español. <laughs> uh, very, very little. Uh, okay, so you can also have colorways that you unlock just by playing the game. Uh, so of the base skin, you can unlock different colorways. As soon as I'm level 8, I'll get this blue one. As soon as I'm level uh, 10, I'll get this white one, which is so sexy. It's like iridescent too, which is really cool. And then uh, if you have enough for skins, you can actually buy the skins, which I unlocked this skin. Uh, and then there are different levels. Once you're a level, uh, you know, one, four, eight, and, and ten, or something like that, you can you can get these things. And I'm really trying for this one. This is the one that I like the most. This one is so sexy, so clean. Uh, this one's cool, but I, I don't like it as much as I like this one here. So I really only care about the Falcon one. Uh, then you can go to abilities and mods. Let's go to taunts real quick We'll go back to abilities and mods because this is where you're gonna start really learning a lot about the game So taunts first of all, I've I've used all my monies to unlock all my taunts I wish there was a preview that you could do by clicking on one of these or double clicking or right clicking or something I wish it would preview them uh, Even before you could buy them. I wish it would preview them But I have a taunt for all of these we'll talk about taunts once we're in game So we're gonna go to the abilities and mods first of all You can check out the ability by just hovering your mouse over it you can get all all of the information you want from it plus a video of what it looks like when it's in action and when it goes off it goes off in the blast phase as you can see red is blast phase green is prep phase and uh, uh, yellow is dash phase uh, we talked about those earlier if you're wondering about those you can type in phases and it'll tell you all the phases then you can type in stuff like each of the phase for prep so you can understand what each one is about so with this, the Tracer Bolt, I'm just going to go over one character and then we're going to move on. So Tracer Bolt deals 34 damage and tracks targets for the target for two turns. Track targets are revealed, which means when they go into the bushes of this game, the invisible areas, they are not uh, hidden. They can be revealed. Uh, and if they try to go invisible, they are revealed. Also, if you hit somebody accidentally because they're invisible, it will reveal them, which is nice. And you gain 10 energy when you hit an enemy. When you get 100 energy, you can perform your ult. So that's one tenth of what you need. Uh, okay, so uh, then you can apply mods to it, which we'll talk about in a second. Hawk Drone, this is her secondary ability. You'll be seeing me play her a lot because she is my favorite so far. I'm doing so well with her. Okay, so Hawk Drone is in the blast. It's got a two turn cooldown. This is your basic ability, no cooldown. So Hawk Drone over here, two turn cooldown. Send out your drone dealing 20 damage. The drone stays at the location, shooting enemies during the blast phase until it moves. Oh, sorry, Elec. Have to reject there. Uh, shooting enemies during the blast phase until it, uh, an ability moves it. These attacks ignore cover, which is great because there is cover in the game. Gain five energy per enemy hit. Also, it's 20 damage per enemy hit, as you can see in the screen. She can lay down a lot of damage. Oftentimes in games, I walk away dealing the most damage because of this girl. I love this girl. All right, so gain five energy. So that's 15 energy you could gain per hit. Uh, well, per, per use of this, if you do it right. Actually, there are four members, so you can actually gain 20, I lied. Then there are mods, etc. Okay, tranquilizer darts. During the prep phase, so you th throw this out early. It can, it's a split ability, so actually the closer you hold your mouse, the more split it is. If you hold it far away, you can actually hit the same character with it. Um, and it launches two darts. It weakens and reveals them. So I've got a lot of reveal, I'm a hunter. And I've got a weaken, which will reduce their damage by 25%, which uh, if you guys want the cheat sheet here, you guys can check out some of the statuses effects on page two, I believe. Okay, and I gain three energy per target hit, which is great. And there's some mods that do some really cool stuff with that. We'll go over those because I want to show you my build so you understand exactly what I'm doing. Then you've got the slip away. This is her dash ability. It's got a six turn cooldown. So she is not very slippery unless you play her like I do. Uh, she's got a super long cooldown on her dash, but it gets her really, really far away from people. The problem, the counterplay is that wherever the drone is, is where she's going to dash to. Uh, so if people stay near my drone or throw abilities that near my drone when you think I'm gonna land I'm gonna use my dash ability you can still hit me that's when a one of the mods comes into play we'll talk about that in a second so gain five energy just for using it then you've got your voltaic cage blast phase no cooldown because it's completely based on only if you have a hundred energy or not command your drone to a target lo location where it creates a cage for two turns enemies that cross that barrier are rooted so think thresh in a way uh, actually think Thresh, absolutely think Thresh. Uh, and take 25 damage, but um, the wall segment is destroyed if they run through it, so they get rooted, which is nice. Uh, requires 100 energy, and it's got some mods as well. So every ability has mods. Now let's go down here. You've got 10 points of mods. Let's unequip all mods. Yes, unequip all mods. You can buy mod tokens. Uh, I have four of them here, but you can buy them for 500 ISO or ISO. 
So you can equip none. We're, we've got none equipped for all of these, basically. But let's go to our Tracer Bolt. I'm going to tell you how I built her. I'm going to turn on my camera for this so you guys get a little bit of uh, some muzzy love here. Where's my camera? Oh, there we go. We can turn on basically everything else. Let's just turn on everything. There we go. Now everything's on except for my Be Right Back screen. Okay, I'm back. All right, cool. So... Let's go over Tracer Bolt. Deals 35, uh, 34 damage and it pierces people, so it can hit or it can hit through people if you use something that I do, which is the high-powered bolts. This costs one. Uh, it, it, they usually cost a certain amount, like three mod tokens, two mod co tokens, one mod token, etc., to unlock. Um, I've unlocked this one. This one is great. Ooh, we got another friend invite. Let's go ahead and click yes. Thanks, Jeremiah. So I like this one. This is my favorite one. It pierces the enemy, but only deals damage to the initial target. Subsequent, subsequent, um, subsequent enemies are tracked. So remember, this deal. I'm, I, there's a reason I want to track people. Um, so I and, and once you've selected a mod, you can see that it actually changes this menu here. Mods, high-powered bolts, one loadout point. So it costs one out of ten. If I had chosen this one, it would cost two out of ten. It would show up there. So the other one is uh, deals four additional damage if the target is tracked. I do like that because it's more damage output, but I like tracking people more. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you why, because I rely heavily on my, my Hawk drone. So let's go to the Hawk drone and check out this one. Oh, by the way, aerodynamic bolts increases the range of it by two. Eh, I don't care. That's if you want to stay really far away and snipe people. Anyway, so for the Hawk Drone, I use Vicious. Increased damage to track targets by five. So generally what I do is I wait. Uh, some people scout with your drone and then do damage later. I like to wait, find them, track them with my Tracer Bolt, and then send my drone at them. And then I'm going to deal increased damage. So instead of it dealing 20 damage, it'll deal 25 damage to each person that is tracked within the drone uh, path and then where he lands. So I like to keep people tracked by using the high pierce, uh, the the high-powered piercing bolts here. So the other thing that you can do, by the way, that costs three uh, mod points, or which is really, really high, but it's very good. The other thing you can do is attacks invisible enemies. So that one's very useful. I found several times where I really wish that I had that. And then the composite material, it costs two. Increase the maximum range of the drone targeting by two. Now, I actually don't know if it's the distance it can travel or the range in which it will dis it will hit people. I haven't used it yet, so um, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to use it <laughs> uh, because I really like my setup. But uh, if it's the distance that it can travel, I think that uh, wording might need to change. I've already sent that in as a, as a suggestion. But if it's the targeting range, that means that it's the distance around it that it can actually target. Um, the cast range would be how far it can go away, I think, personally. But we'll see what, it, what they do with that wording, see if it's confusing for anybody else. So I use Vicious, increased damage. Now we're going to go to the Tranquilizer darts. This has got a bunch of mods, which is great. So let's, let's look at these. The Tri Dart adds an additional dart. Now this is a little difficult to control. As you can see, it's going to split your damage. It's not a fixed split. It's how close your cursor is to your character. Spreads it more, and if your cursor is farther away, it actually uh, tightens it up. So you can have all three go to character or you know try to hit multiple people at a time, which tracks them, which is very, very powerful. However, I use this one over here. I use off the cuff. Darts are a free action. So instead of being able to use one ability per turn, I actually use it as a free action. So that means I can do this and then I can pierce and then I uh, or then I can throw my drone at somebody and then if somebody moves and I have my drone off cooldown, I can actually pierce them with my tracer bolts and throw my drone at them. So I get maximum tracking efficiency. Um, so adds additional dart that will Still track them, uh, but it's not a free action, and it has a, uh, a oh, and then it, I actually haven't unlocked it yet. Then we have overdose. Enemies hit by more than one dart are slowed. That's really good because it it means that they uh, move five uh, fifty percent less. Uh, yeah, Mars, you're talking about uh, Titus here, brutal frontline fighter. Titus thrives in the chaos of battle. Difficulty is easy. Okay, uh, then back to this. Energy feed. Gain three extra energy per enemy hit. Unfortunately, you can't combine it with this uh, the tri dart, but that means that you're going to, in instead of gaining three, you're going to gain six energy. So if you're really trying to get to your ultimate really quickly, energy feed is the way to go. I don't find it that useful. I think you're going to get there eventually. Then we'll check out Adrenaline Overload, which is one I used to use, I think. Darts grant might to allies. If both darts hit the same ally, they gain unstoppable. So granting might means a 25% increase to your damage. If somebody then weakens you, you will take a 25% decrease. So if you're a weakened and might, you are canceled out. If you uh, gain unstoppable, it means you cannot be knocked back and you cannot 
be slowed, which is great. And I think there's like one other one. Maybe you can't be rooted or something like that too. Uh, anything that deals with movement, you can't be. <laughs> uh, can't be affected by it. We already talked about off the cuff, which is the one that I use. I'm already at seven out of 10, rough. Okay, let's go to slip away. In slip away, you have uh, gain five when using this. It's thrilling escape, gain five energy. Eh, I don't really need that. Agile escape, increase the size of the landing area. This is great if people have figured out where you're gonna go to or if there are enemies around there and you want to make sure that you have more of a range. Otherwise, the range is only a uh, three by three, which is nine spaces within where the Hawk drone is. This actually increases it so you can fly away from it even further. Shelter, gains 20 shields until the end of the next turn. So once you use this, you get to your location, you gain shields. So this is more for somebody who's gonna be super aggressive in going in. And I don't play that build. I think it's a different build that I enjoyed a while ago but now I have way more fun doing this then you have keen perception gain vision of your initial position until end of your turn which is really nice OG is original gangster thanks for checking that out brass dwarf <laughs> yes it is okay so um, yeah so the keen perception is gain vision of your initial position so from where you left so that helps your teammates. So this is more of a supporting role. I find that you can play her in a super aggressive role, a stand back and poke role, or a support role. Um, that's how, that's the three builds that I can see that I've played with her. But I'm basically use nothing for this one because my ult is so much better to have something on. All right, so your ultimate is the Voltaic Cage, just so you remember. Uh, Relentless is on cast, resets the cooldown of Hawk Drone. So if you just use your Hawk Drone, and then you use your ultimate immediately after that, and then you use your Hawk Drone again, you can put down insane amounts of damage. And as you can see, it costs three, which is exactly what I have left. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip that now before I forget. Uh, but you can also do Zapper, increase the damage by five. So everybody who's in there, instead of taking 25, they'll take, um, they'll take 30 damage if they walk through my wall, but it'll also be uh, increased five damage, I think, on when it actually goes to you because you're actually moving your Hawk drone uh, in the same at the same process. So I'm wondering if that actually does five extra damage for when he flies and hits people and five extra damage for the walls that it creates. I'm not certain. Uh, prisoner roster, sorry, prison roster. Enemies inside the cage are revealed until the next turn. I don't know why that costs two. I don't think that's particularly strong. Um, However, if you do throw it to a bush where there is a character hiding, a we're gonna call it a bush actually, uh, if you throw it to a bush where they're hiding and they're inside of it, or if they do one of the blinks that allows them to become invisible, it will reveal them, so it could be okay. Uh, I'm not really certain about that, but I prefer Relentless because it, it basically makes my DPS massive. All right, and then uh, let's see. Then we're gonna go, uh, we're done with this menu. You guys have seen everything. You can click on every character and check them out. You can also go and get to every character by going to the play. And then once you're in play, you can change your freelancer and you can click on them, which will change them here. This is really good. Uh, I generally do this. Now, if you and another person, if they're trying really, diff uh, really hard to hook you up with another person, uh, they will, in fact, um, if you have the exact same character, they will, in fact, boot somebody out and you will have to choose another character. So get used to at least two characters, please. Um, and then you can see you can do a practice one, you practice. can do solo one, solo. cooperative, and versus. PvP. In cooperative, you can choose how difficult you want your, your bots, you want your bots to be. In solo, solo, you can choose how good your team bots are or how good your enemy bots are. Uh, that's really important. And then practice, practice. Is, is, is just like a simple uh, beat em up room where there are some floating bad guys that don't do anything. Sometimes they move, sometimes they blink. Um, but yeah, they don't really hit you or anything like that. How many are available in free rotation? One, two, three, four, five. Five, that's pretty good. And it changes every week. I'm wondering if they're gonna change every day during this week so that people get a really good chance of, of playing more characters. If we go to the store, this is where you can get currency, which is unavailable currently. Uh, skins, which, uh, uh, and then GG boost, where you can get these. So for this, I can get a bunch of GG boosts if I want. I'm actually, I might unlock a skin, we'll see. Actually, you know what, screw it. I'm going big right now. I'm gonna get 10 GG boosts confirmed. Buy. I'm gonna use them every game. We'll go over that when we're playing. I just used it. I love it. Now I can't get 60 GG boosts, but that's okay. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so let's go to freelancers. If you click on a freelancer, it brings this up, which gives you skins. Now, if you don't have a skin unlocked, you can actually, it will show up down here that you can actually purchase it for 1500. Oh no, I just missed being able to unlock another skin because this skin is sweet. Uh, I really like the skins in these characters. If you want to exit out of this, by the way, you can purchase the characters for 20,000 ISO or 1,000. So if I wanted to, I could get a sauna. Uh, look at these things. Oh, 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 I love it. This one is definitely the best. Oh, it's so good. I'm so sad that I didn't get that one. Oh, no, I wasted my GG boosts. No, that's okay. We'll, we'll have fun giving everybody else the EXP. I don't need it. Uh, and if you go to skins, when you click on them, it'll bring you right to the skins tab. So the difference between freelancer and skins here is freelancer brings you to the main area of them. Skins will bring you directly to their skins tab, which you can get to just by clicking on them and hitting skins. So it's a little bit redundant, but for people who are looking specifically to get skins, that's where you go. All right, so that's all we got. I think it's time to do another giveaway, and then we're gonna play some games. Here we go. All right, so let's do, let's get in the play mode here. Let's choose gray. 